Now then, people, it's Joe, it's all Leeds TV. It's going to be short, it's going to be snappy, it's going to be sweet. It's time for your Leeds versus Hull City Carabao Cup tie pre-match chat. Please smash a like, it greatly helps the videos and the channel share. And of course, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel as we continue to put out content. Um, so what's come for you then these last few days? Obviously, we've had Oscar doing the Premier League roundup. Make sure you check that out. We did a lovely video yesterday with Catherine Batty from Hull, uh, a reporter from the Mail Online, giving us the inside scoop on Hull City. Make sure you check that out, and we've got some more exciting videos coming. Of course, All East TV will be going live. It's on the ticker there from about 730 to give you a watch along with that. And we're going to have Tash with us tonight. I believe Jack will be along for the ride and most definitely Oscar. I think Danny might be working. So make sure you join us because the last time we were all in the house, we had a right good giggle. Who remembers Neckmar, etc. And of course, the in-betweeners. Okay, let's get into it. Hull City, what to expect? Well, I'm going to come from Leeds United's perspective. I think we're going to play a strong lineup. It's been said last season against Stoke, for example, when we were beaten on penalties, Bielsa wasn't happy. The reason he wasn't happy is he sees it as a perfect opportunity for squad rotation to use some of the individuals that won't necessarily get game time in the Premier League and keep them happy, as it were. Um, in terms of lineup, I, I would like to see Melier continuing goal for obvious reasons. Um, I think Luke Ehrling will play on the right-hand side just because he's missed a consistent centre-back. That's where I guess there's open for discussion because for me, I'd be playing Cooper and Koch and I think that's a realistic possibility. If Cooper's look looking like he's back to fitness after his muscle strain away with Scotland uh, and, of course, Koch, they need to form that partnership. If Cooper's not coming back, then play Strouk, form that partnership. Or he may go the other way. I know Leif Davis played on the left side of centre-back uh, during pre-season. Maybe he plays in there. Maybe Creswell. I'd like to see Creswell uh, get a run out in competitive competition. Maybe Oli Casey as well. So there's a number of options there. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what, what he goes with. But for me, I would definitely have Koch. That's one that I would definitely want in there just so he gets more used to the system that we deploy, obviously, with him being a new player. Uh, on the left... Uh, side of defence, I would go Alioski. I just prefer Alioski over Douglas. Um, I, I just like what Alioski's about. And of course, he's a madman. And I think Alioski might play, but I wouldn't be surprised if also um, uh, Barry shows up at left back. Um, depending on what the centre-back partnerships are, maybe we'll see Strauk in the DM role. Maybe that's where Bielsa sees his long-term position at Leeds United, although he did a sterling job at centre-back against Liverpool. Um but maybe we'll see Strauk in there or maybe KP. I'm not sure, but I think he might go with Strauk. Uh, in midfield, I'd be looking at I'd be looking at Shackleton. I'd be looking at Roberts. Um, I'd like to see Robbie Gotts, but I'm led to believe that the likes of uh, Robbie Gotts, Jordan Stevens, um, Alfie McCalmon are looking for loan deals. Um, and I can understand why. You know, they've been with the under 23s. Obviously, they've been through the lead setup, apart from Jordan Stevens, who was brought in. But the, you know, they've they've knocked on the door of the first team during the championship, but never been given a run out. They've outgrown the under 23s. Let's send them boys out on loan. So I think you know, Robbie Gotts, McCalmont, and Stevens, for that matter, may not feature because they may be sent out on loan. On the wings, there, I would is there much change of thought? Maybe keep Costa Harrison. What other options do we have there? Really, that's where we need bodies. We need someone that can play along there. Maybe Pablo goes out on the right. I'm not sure. Um, but or, or alternatively, uh, thinking about that, you know, Alioski on the left, keep Costa or Harrison on the right. Maybe Harrison, just due to the fact that he's Mr. Consistent, I think it'll be his 50 consecutive game. Um, and the more and more I see of Harrison, the more and more I like the kid. So maybe Harrison on the right, Alioski on the left, and Douglas back in a left full back position. And up top, guys, I would start Rodrigo Moreno, our uh, transfer record signing, just due to the fact that he needs that match sharpness. You know, he was over eager when he came on, didn't really do much. And of course, fatally gave the penalty away against Fabinho in that Liverpool game. Uh, but we need him to get integrated into the side, and it's a perfect opportunity for him to do so against Hull City. Just on Hull City, you know, I spoke to Catherine Batty yesterday. If you want to check that video, it is on the channel, please do. Um, she thinks there'll be a few changes as well because League One is their bread and butter they need to get out of that division we've seen what we did to them uh last term 4-0 uh on, on the running just prior to when covid hit to be fair and we absolutely took them to the cleaners and i fancy a similar sort of performance tonight i'd be very surprised if we didn't come out comfortable winners and i do think we might win the game 
possibly around 3 4 nil, if I'm being honest. And, and and that's not like, um, I'm not giving Hull credit, you know. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're about. Um, you know, I, I, I like, obviously, they've got ex-Leeds players in there, Malik Wilkes and um, Louis Coyle. I'd like to see Louis Coyle get a run out. I know he's been suspended in the early parts of the season. So I think that's finished now and hopefully we'll see him get a run out against his former club if they were to score which I don't think they will, but if they were, I don't mind Louis Coyle getting it, if I'm being totally honest. Um, I think on Louis Coyle as well, I think had he have been with the club when Bielsa first came in, he may have got a chance. Just funny how football works out. He was already on loan at Fleetwood and never really considered. Um, but that's someone who could have worked well under Bielsa, we don't know. And I guess we'll never know. But that's enough of, of, of Louis Coyle and the Coyles and Hull City. Let's talk about Leeds United. Yeah, I see us winning the game comfortably, as I said earlier on. And I'm going to go for 3-4-0. Um, I'll stick my neck out and say 4. Let's go out uh, and, and stick my neck out and say 4. Um, and I think we'll we'll get goals from all over, as per. I think Rodrigo Moreno may get a couple of assists, two assists and a goal himself. Put him down for man of the match um, and get your bets on him to get a couple. Um, because I think it's uh, a perfect time for him to do that. And then we move on to Fulham. Um, I think now Liverpool game, done, gone. It was buzzing. Um, I was buzzing for the game itself, but we have to move on now. We've got Hull City and then we've got Fulham, because if we don't follow this Liverpool performance up with a positive result against Fulham, then it was all for nothing. Do you know what I mean? And that's what we need to concentrate on, because believe me, as Leeds United fans, if we lose at Fulham, or don't pick up maximum points, people will come running. People will come running, you know. I think we will do all right against Fulham, and I do fully expect us to get maximum points, but I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but thank you so much. I know it was short, it was sweet, but I'd like to continue to put the videos out for you. Please like, please share and subscribe, and we'll see you around half seven tonight for your whole city watch-along. Um, so I'll leave it there, and I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Leeds, leeds, leeds.